Analyzing chest X-rays is a critical skill evaluated during OSCE stations. An organizer exists to interpret chest X-rays efficiently without missing important findings. The organizer is structured into three steps. The initial step is to verify essential patient information, including their name, age, the date of the X-ray, and if obtainable, any previous X-ray for comparison. The second step to interpret a chest X-ray is to evaluate its overall quality and positioning, represented by the acronym RIPP, which stands for Rotation, Inspiration, Projection, and Penetration. The third step is represented by the acronym ABCDE, and it entails identifying any positive findings in the X-ray by evaluating the airway, breathing, bones, cardiovascular, diaphragm, and the presence of effusion. RIPP is for the quality and positioning of X-ray. Adequate rotation can be assessed by observing the clavicle heads to ensure they are equidistant from the spinous processes of the vertebral bodies. The visibility of 9 to 10 posterior ribs in an X-ray image indicates adequate inspiration as the image should ideally be taken during inspiration. To assess penetration accurately, it is crucial to examine the visibility of vertebral bodies located behind the heart. The projection is evaluated by determining whether it is an anterior-posterior or posterior-anterior view. In posterior-anterior view, the clavicle is visible below the apex of lungs. The anterior ribs appear more prominent and the ribs appear more oblique in the orientation. Whereas in anterior posterior view, the clavicle are visible above the apex of the lungs. The shadow of a scapula is seen within the lung field and in large heart shadow. A is for airway. When evaluating the airway, it is important to determine whether the trachea is centrally positioned or deviated. B stands for breathing and it can be evaluated in X-ray by observing lung hilum for lymph nodes, bronchovascular marking for any irregularities, the lung feel for sign of consolidation, the presence of pneumothorax. B also stands for bone which is to search for fracture and lytic lesion into the bones. C stands for cardiac, and when evaluating the cardiac shadow, we typically comment on to the cardiothoracic diameter, which should normally be less than 50% of the maximum transverse thoracic diameter. Additionally, we provide remarks on pulmonary trunk, arch of aorta, and right atrium. D represents the diaphragm, and in a typical assessment, the right side of diaphragm is positioned higher than the left side. E represents effusion, and it can be assessed by looking for blunting of costophrenic angle. Here's the example for X-ray interpretation. This chest X-ray belongs to Mr. X, who is 70 years old. The X-ray was conducted on August 4, 2020, and there are no prior X-ray records obtainable for reference. Upon evaluating the image quality, it appears that the rotation is within normal parameters, with the clavicles appearing equidistant from the midline. The inspiratory efforts appear satisfactory as 10 posterior ribs are visible. Furthermore, both costophrenic angles are discernible on both sides. This is a posterior interior view with optimal exposure with clear visualization of vertebral bodies behind the heart. The chest X-ray reveal normal findings. The trachea is centrally positioned. Bronchi are visible and there are no signs of lung consolidation or pleural thickening. The cardiac shadow appears well-defined and normal in size with clear visualization of important cardiac structures. There is no evidence of pleural fusion or abnormalities in the diaphragm. Additionally, no bone fractures all lytic lesions are observed. Overall, the X-ray suggests no significant chest-related issues for Mr. X. Here is an example with positive findings. The trachea deviation to the right is notable and concerning observations on this X-ray involve indication of pulmonary edema. 
bronchoalveolar coughing, the presence of curly V lines and alveolar edema. The cardiac shadow exhibit an indistinct outline with a cardiothoracic ratio exceeding 50%. Furthermore, the blunting of costophrenic angle implies the likelihood of pleural effusion. There are no apparent signs of fracture or lytic lesions. In summary, this chest X-ray strongly suggests a potential diagnosis of heart failure. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.